Well, the idea is that we play on top of ourselves. Kind of, we have this um, track that we've been working on for the last four weeks constantly, and it uh, it's with us all the time. Only this music around us, and so we keep adding ideas and play on top. And this is what we're going to do today as well. And we also record it, and this will then become part of our next piece. Yeah, I think we're all interested in, in all ki kinds of music. And for me, it's just fun to work with my friends. And whether it's categorized as a particular thing doesn't really concern me. It's just like, are we, are we into what we're doing and, and pushing ourselves to try new stuff? So. It's really great to have an outlet to do that, to experiment and do that. So we don't know exactly what's going to happen. It's, we can't tell you what it's going to be exactly because we're playing music and improvising. He's playing left-handed guitar and I'm playing right-handed. That's what we know. That's true.
Uh, Luc uh, Camaru and me are have done this thing. Uh, it's an initiative by Luc, and uh, it was one of these uh, pandemic things, you know. Like uh, his idea was to send a basic track to uh, a next person, and then onto the next person, like a letter, you know, like a, a conversation. Well, <laughs> first of all, Luc is not here, and um, it's a bit different in a sense that. Um, the original project is uh, is sent on each time. Uh, so started at Luke, then it was sent to Camaro, then it was sent to me. So it was basically responding to something that was already there. But uh, for this thing, we are actually improvising live on the spot together. To stay open-minded with like the direction or the piece which was sent, for example, by Luke, and thinking or like giving time and space for the for the piece itself, and evolving and just improvising on top of it and later passing it on to the next artist. Well, the initial plan was, of course, to be with Luke and Camaro and myself uh, to do the, the show live. But because of the regulations, first I wasn't able to travel, then uh, Luke wasn't able to travel. And uh, so we worked out some way to do it remotely, uh, live over the Internet. And uh, naturally, everybody in the group takes on a, a sort of role. Luke would be the the guy providing the base and the structure, and then Kamara would uh, provide ambience and stuff like that, and I would provide like sort of accents and um, sudden events and stuff like that. That's probably the what we the only thing we stick to um, as a rule or as a as a thing that is in the back of my mi our minds when we play together. But basically, it's pressing start and uh, you know hope for the best. <laughs>
We knew we were playing in the Halle. So the Halle is kind of um, a big reverberant kind of cathedral reverb um, sound in there. And uh, normally it's only ambient <clears throat> music uh, or theater or more kind of experimental things happening in there. So it's not like a party room at all. It never, never has been and couldn't really work um, that way. So yeah, we kind of planned the set to work in the Halle and in this kind of, in this um, kind of reverberant hall kind of uh, environment. Yeah, and we, I think we always wanted to do some kind of ambient set in a way. So yeah, we took the chance and tried that. Ended up being not so ambient, but uh, uh, yeah, we'll see. It's ambient enough. Yeah. <laughs> Sam is playing um, with a like a keyboard synth, like a Nord synth, and um, we're switching kind of like sides this time. So I'm having a modular synthesizer, and uh, um, we're working with an Orca track and a digitone from Electron, and um, yeah, basically. I've got the Nord Wave 2 and the Nord Drum, and uh, yeah, we also brought, because it's really close to our studio here, so we, we brought some extra kind of outboard compressors and fancy things to make it sound a bit nicer. Yeah, it's definitely more improvising on his side, because he's playing live keys. So. I definitely might play some yeah. wrong notes. Yeah. That's fine. <clears throat> <laughs> Just to let people this know that sound it's improvised. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> Thank you. 
We this. met in Berlin in a nice Italian cafe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I guess the fact that we are both French, both French speaking, then mm. creates a connection, like additional it's true, one. Actually, yeah, yeah. What we're doing is that we are one instrument. Um, so so far, I'm sending her information. It can be either audio or MIDI information, uh, making rhythmic patterns, and then she's responding with this. So actually, what's interesting there is that we are really one. So if I'm not going forward, she cannot go forward. If she's not going forward, I cannot go forward. Yeah. It's the yeah, idea. I can go into technical details <laughs> <laughs> for the nerds <laughs> in case. But yeah, it's been quite interesting to work in that way and um, um, being able to translate uh, this information through different devices and. Um, so I'm also like using this modular, which is reacting to some dynamics that she's sending me, and also um, also we're gonna try and do it the other way around. But for now, it's exactly like this. Like we are different parts of one instrument, and yeah, I think it's quite. It's it's also set a direction for us. It's limited us in a way, or me also, because I usually would work with so many layers and so on and now it's been like super focused to have this uh, aspect and yeah I hope the music is good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So everything yeah. is happening live basically. Yeah. But I like this also because there's, I mean this is why I like to work with this, there's always a possibility to fail in a way, even though it never happens but I like this kind of little yeah, It won't happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the room is fantastic, like actually we because what we composed was especially for now, uh, we also cons took in consider consideration uh, this huge room, which has such a huge reverb. And um, uh, the rhythms that we use, we kept them quite dry, like without too many effects, because there is this natural reverb. So it's quite exciting to, to, to play. Mm -hmm in this context and um, there's going to be a recording of the room as well so that's going to be mixed in uh, what you're going to see now um, yeah I think that's an important aspect mm -hmm. of this room
Bei uns ist es eigentlich immer so ein bisschen so, dass wir uns das kurz vorher überlegen, was wir machen. Wir überlegen uns, was für Instrumente wir zusammensetzen und mit was er spielt und was ich mache. Und eigentlich sind unsere ganzen Konzerte immer improvisiert. Hat auch fast schon ein bisschen Tradition bei uns, dass wir für, für jede, wir spielen ja sehr wenige Konzerte, dass wir dann aber doch immer ein komplett anderes Setup haben. So was, was uns selber auch ein bisschen fordert dann auf der einen Seite und, und auch irgendwie wieder an neue, neue Sachen öffnet. Und also wir haben jetzt kein irgendwie vorgeplantes Live-Set, was wir jederzeit abrufen können, sondern es ist immer so ein, ja, einfach ein Experiment mit dem, wie, wie wir zu dem Zeitpunkt gerade drauf sind oder auch was für Musikinstrumente wir gerade benutzen. Ich habe ähm, so zwei Looper, die ähm, für, über die Ausgänge verschiedene Effekte ähm, bedienen und experimentiere mit den Loopern und verschiedenen Loops, die da drin sind. Und ich habe dann dieses äh, Haken Continuum Keyboard. Das ist so ein, ja, das ist eigentlich nur eine Neopren-Oberfläche, auf der man eben sehr expressiv dann spielen kann. Also auf jeden Fall ist der Raum perfekt geeignet für ein Ambient Set. Ich habe da ja auch schon öfters ähm, Solo gespielt und natürlich mit Publikum, aber ideal, würde ich sagen. Dieser Raum. In dem Fall jetzt heute ist das ja nicht wirklich ein Club Space in dem Sinn, sondern wir sitzen konzentriert an unserem Tisch und machen Musik. Und das ist eigentlich auch nicht recht viel anders als im Studio. Natürlich ist der, der Raumeindruck noch da, der es ja auch ganz schön macht. Aber äh, es ist anders, als wenn wir jetzt vor Publikum spielen würden natürlich. Ja, es wird aber auch gestreamt, es wird gefilmt und dann hat man schon auch so ein bisschen, ja. ähm, man will auch keine Fehler machen so. Ja, es soll gut. Das machen wir ihn. Ja, es ist ja ein, äh, ein Wagnis auch, weil wir haben auch schon lange nicht mehr gespielt zusammen und das, wir haben es wirklich nicht, wir haben es einmal geprobt, was wir da jetzt heute machen wollen und ich bin aber äh, <lacht> positiv, dass das alles gut gehen wird.
I think we have um, some common taste musically. So we have like we share some same universe of musical direction. And uh, so I think um, when they asked to make a pair collaboration track for the compilation, it was kind of obvious, like uh, Hayden and I, we will make a track together to, yeah, to bring our both common universe, but with a new sound and, yeah. Yeah, it's still, I think, geared towards the dance floor more, but uh, yeah. at the same time, I also used um, some samples of of tracks that I made or played in when I, I did a set in the hall the last the last Oscar tone knocked. So I used the little bits of that as like kind of layers inside the set, but it's not an ambient set now. Now it's like everything's driving and has a pulse or something. Yeah, it's like dancing, I think. Uh, yeah. There's a kind of mood. But I guess there's, there's a hint towards the room itself, I guess, in a way. Yeah. It uh, was kind of a yeah, combination with uh, machines, DJ set, and uh, yeah, I think it's not, it's, I will not say it's experimental, I will more say it's club. It's yeah. important because we have a kick drum non stop and uh, and danceable music. I mean, for us, it's danceable, but maybe not for everybody. Maybe when we first started practicing, we were doing like the rehearsals in this room. And I think at the very first beginning, we had to like shake off some cobwebs, and maybe a little rusty and not used to the flow, especially working with a more in a live set setting. You had to be lots of hands going and lots of stuff going on more. But, I mean, after a little bit, it's just, you know, it's like riding a bike or something, you don't, you don't forget. Yeah, like feeling is strange because you back in a club, you smell you, because there's typical smell of clubs. And so it's like, oh, I could so long time ago. There's kind of nostalgia, but uh, of course, the, the habits come really fast and we are quick and uh, back in works. And uh, yeah, we find a quick our point of work.
Come on, come on.